We're going to be making a specially designed bolt. Actually, it's going to be a shoulder bolt and it's going to be hardened. And the reason I'm doing that is I want to make another one of these. Uh, with this one here, the bolts I put in, one is here and the other is there, are just threaded bolts. And you get enough action going on in this and the thread is going to wear and it's going to become sloppy. So actually I want to make a smaller one of these and I'm going to make custom designed shoulder bolts. And we're going to go through the process of how that was done. You'll need a piece of 3 8 drill rod, water hardening W1 drill rod, and uh, long enough so that you have room to chuck it up. You can, you can part it off later. Uh, put that in the lathe and uh, the distance from here to here is about half an inch and this diameter will be the diameter that you want to slide whatever on. In my case it's a knurling wheel that uh, I need to slide onto this section. So after that is the right size. <coughs> then we, we need to uh, cut the end down to uh, to a size to uh, accommodate uh, for a 1024 thread. And it should be about uh, 200 thou of an inch long. Okay, the lathe work is done for now, and it'll be time to mill the hex for the socket wrench. You've got your thread on, you've got your bearing surface for uh, whatever you'd like to slide on that shoulder. Now we need something to put here so that we can tighten the thread up. So over at the mill, we have a rotary table set up and we're going to mill a hex and you'll have to calculate that for the size that you uh, that you want to uh, whatever socket you want to use now i chose a 516 socket and with a 3 8 size here um, that means my mill will come down and zero on top of here and then we'll take about 30 31 thousandths off for each flat And there's our part out of the mill. All we have to do is either part it off here or cut it off here and maybe a little facing and a little polishing. And uh, then we can go ahead and harden it. Now, since we made this out of W1 drill rod, which is water hardening drill rod, and we've made sure that we can move this. We've put a nut on the other end and there's room for it to move. It's, it's sloppy enough so that it's not going to bind. We can now harden it with a torch and quench it in water. The main part we want to harden is the center part. Now that is fairly hard and I'm not going to draw it back because there's not going to be any side stress on it. It's a very short part. We're going to run this through the uh, sandblaster and it's going to look pretty. Okay, here is our finished part. Looks pretty nice and What's even better is 
the knurl fits on there and it's pretty hard it's not going to wear out If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.